What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we're here with Chris Young from Y&S Lawn Care in Independence, Missouri. He's got this beautiful enclosed trailer he's added some LEDs to and uh, today he decided that he's going to finally install his equipment defender trimmer racks after five months. Yeah. You figure that you you know we don't do lawn care he would have already install them yeah it's uh so uh so today guys we're going to install these equipment fender racks we're going to show you how easy this is to install these racks on an enclosed trailer it's going to be quick it's going to be simple and we're going to get started you ready yeah all right let's do this All right, so there she is. This is how it comes in the box, guys. Now, a lot of this stuff you're not gonna use doing an enclosed trailer, but as you can tell over here on the right, you're gonna use these. These are your mounting brackets. They go to the back. You're gonna use these. You're gonna use these and these. You're not gonna use these long poles, though there's two of those. You're not gonna use those everything else in here we're going to use pretty much so uh let's get this going get it out of the box and show you what we're going to do all right guys so first things first we got our rack here first thing we're going to do is take these brackets there's four of these and they're going to go like this two on each thing then you've got some small boats and then you've got some longer boats now your small boats are going to go in this bracket your longer bolts are what's going to be used to go through the back side to hold it to the wall so let's get these put on and we'll come back all right guys so we got this installed i will run you through the things here so what we did is we put this bracket on first then we put everything else on here then we put this bracket on and we measured from here to the back of the trim right there that we know is straight supposedly so that it would give us a perfect straight up and down but seeing as though the trailer is on level um, right now sitting in the driveway then it would give us a level with the trailer so then we take these you put your screws in here then uh, you tighten up your your brackets on both of these then you're going to put these on the back side here two of those and then you put this bar in then three this is a four tier trimmer rack so three of these blocks are going to be on the inside one's going to be on the outside and we've got these just tight enough to where we can set a trimmer in here see where it needs to go so we can loosen these up and adjust them so we're fixing to uh Put the other side on here we're going to figure out where our trimmer needs to be and where our other piece needs to be drill some holes for it and we'll be good so let's move on to the next step here all right guys so next what we did while he's putting these screws in here uh, next what we did is we, we mounted our top one up here show you that so we got our top one and what we did is we put it 32 inches apart so the second stud inside this trailer of over and uh, lined up these holes right here with the studs put that in the middle holes with the studs there and then we measured from here to here to see what it was and then we measured from here on the bottom here we measured from here to there to see what it was lined it up got it right where it needed to be screwing it in now And now that that's done, we're going to put this mount on here. So uh, this is going to be easy because regardless of how loose these are, <clears throat> once you put this on, I'll show you, we're going to put this on here and we're going to tighten these up. Now we're gonna put the bottom one in. If I can find the screw, what I did with it, it's in my other pocket. You'll figure. 
So then we're going to put this screw in. And, and what you're going to see is the way that these fit right here, the way they grip to the back side, it's automatically going to straighten this rack up and then you can tighten your back screws. <clears throat> so let's tighten these up here. There we go. So it automatically tightens everything up <clears throat> to where it's not going to move up or down anymore. So you know it's in the right position. Now all we're gonna do is tighten these back bolts up, this nut and this bolt, and then this set right here will be complete. Then we'll put our blocks on our trimmers and we'll set them in here. So let's get these tightened up. Now we're gonna get our blocks. <clears throat> we're gonna get one block here. And so you got these blocks. Now these blocks are real light. Uh, both of these blocks weigh less than six ounces. So a lot of people say that it adds weight to your trimmer. Guys, if you've got your employees telling you that this adds weight or you think six ounces or less adds weight, I have to say you're probably a snowflake and just looking for something to gripe about. So we'll get these pulled off here. <clears throat> Put these on the trimmer and we'll barely tighten them up. We're not going to tighten them all the way. We're going to barely tighten them to where we know where to set them at, but we're going to snug them to where they will still move. All right, guys, we've got these on where they're a little loose here. <clears throat> and this block down here is uh, a little loose as well. So we'll tighten this up just a hair, just to where we can move it where we need it. So with this uh, steel, I believe this is 100, no, it's a 90R. So with this steel, we have to move this bracket right here for your strap. We have to move it down a little. No big deal there. Take a star bit, move that down, and then we'll uh, get this set up here and show you how to do that. So you put your blocks on, leave them a little bit loose on both ends, and uh, that way you can move them if you need to once you get it in your rack where they need to be. So we'll go over that in a minute. All right guys, so once you get your blocks in there and you get them set where you want, you move this one down. That one's where you want it pretty much. <clears throat> set this one down here, move it, slide it up against tight. Tighten it up to where it's not gonna move. Then this one right here, you pull this back out. And once you pull it out, you can tighten it up. So we've already got these tight. So now you pull it out here. You're literally just going to slide it in. Let me get the camera on the other side and get a different angle for y'all here. <clears throat> All right. So uh, this is the one he uses most of the time. So we're going to put it down here so it's easy to get to for him. So you literally just take this and slide it in here. Put this in. And there you go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our engine support here. We're going to put it where he wants it, which is right here, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to slide this over so we've got this loose to where we can move it a little so we're going to slide it over where we want it then we're going to slide it up and now we're going to tighten this to where it's not going to move there you go now it's on there and that's not going anywhere nice and pretty for him and he's ready to go mowing And now we can put his other trimmers up here, do the exact same thing, and he's done, guys. And then if he wants to lock his equipment, all he's got to do is turn this up here. Then you take this, push it in, and then he's got a keyed lock. So, of course, he'll lock it with his key there, and uh, it'll be completely locked. Or it's already locked in the lock position now, so when he gets to his next property, he'll do that and he's ready to go. 
So uh, that's how you do it, guys. It's real simple to do. Once again, we couldn't come back farther because he's got his uh, trimmer spool line holder here. But if you look, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna work out great and it looks good. What do you think, Chris? Love it. Love it? Love it. All right, guys. Well, that's how you do the enclosed trailer. Very easy, very simple to do. It's been, what, about an hour? Yeah. Um, but during that hour, Chris is very unorganized, so we had to uh, we had to find some tools and things because he is not a very organized person. Get in there. So, uh, <laughs> all right, guys, that's, that's the end of this. That's how that works. And uh, stay tuned because we've got a little surprise for Chris here. So uh, y'all keep watching a minute. We'll be right back. All right, guys, he wanted to put one last item up here. He's going to get the other equipment he's got serviced up, and then he's going to do it himself here. But now he knows how to get it up there. But he wanted to put his pole saw up top, and lo and behold, it it's up there. It ain't going nowhere. We got her sitting back there on the engine supports, and uh, good to go. All right, guys, so I'd really like to thank Chris for letting me come out, do this video, and pretty much install the racks for him. Um, but, you know, it, it was a great time. It's been fun. The sun started coming out and shining, so that made things that much better. But uh, to top all this off, Chris has been wanting to get a sure can, and he just really hasn't uh, had the time to go out and get one. He's been using them what I call El Cheapos, which, hey, they work. If they work for you, that's what matters. Yep. But uh, I've got some extra sure cans that I wasn't using. So we decided that we're going to uh, we're going to give him a sure can here and let him try that out. He said he, you know, would really like a two gallon. So we gave him a two gallon to do that. And then, uh, you know, I asked him what shirt size he was and he said he was a two XL, which luckily I had an extra one of these shirts. Awesome. And uh, so, you know, we're going to give him a SureCan USA shirt as well. Thanks to SureCan for, uh, you know, giving me this shirt. And uh, I've got another one just so you know um, and I w that I wear. So this one is uh, just an extra one that, that uh, Trent had gave me. And so uh, there's your right. shirt, man. And Thank we got you, you a two-gallon gas can here too. You, you can try out and see if you like it. If you don't like it, then you know you can always give it back to me. Okay. And if you do like it, then keep it, you know, go buy you another one when you get a chance. Yeah. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.